Let's take a look at the three main greenhouse gases that cause global warming, carbon dioxide, methane, and nitrous oxide. Carbon dioxide is naturally present in the atmosphere. It's part of carbon's natural circulation among the atmosphere, oceans, soil, plants, and animals. It's vented from volcanoes, naturally occurring wildfires, even belches. But according to the EPA, it's the primary greenhouse gas because of us, humans. Not from our burps, but from the burning of fossil fuels. We'll get more into that in just a second. Using a metric called Global Warming Potential, or GWP, carbon dioxide is a one, which means methane has 25 times more more warming potential, nitrous oxide 265 times more. But there are other factors that we need to consider here, like the length of time that the gases stay in the atmosphere. Methane only lasts for about 12 years. Carbon dioxide varies quite a bit, but scientists generally use an average of about 100 years. Nitrous oxide can last even longer. The big difference maker, though, is the sheer amount of these gases present in the atmosphere. Nitrous oxide's concentration was about 333 parts per billion in 2020. Compare that to methane, which came in at 1,800 180 parts per billion. But look at the amount of CO2, 390,000 parts per billion. That's why climate experts are so concerned about carbon dioxide in particular. Now let's take a look at some of the sources. Electricity and heat production is the largest single source of global greenhouse gas emissions at 25%, agriculture and forestry at 24%, then industry and transportation. In the United States, it's the transportation sector that's the largest polluter at 29% of our greenhouse gas emissions. That's from the burning of fossil fuels in our cars and our trucks. According to the EPA, 90% of the fuel we use is still petroleum-based gasoline and diesel. Electricity and industry also account for a big piece of the pie. The United States is also one of the world's largest greenhouse gas contributors, coming in at number two behind China, which contributes twice as much. India, Russia, and the countries of the European Union round out the list. Meteorologist Corey Repenhagen, 9 News.